if you want to watch thousands of hours of video without watching and get to the right point in the videos of thousands of hours, finding the needle in the hay, you need this man. Deal, I'm please. I'm not sure that I'm needed. Maybe you'll continue. I think that you're doing a better job than I do. But <laughs> you need the clicker. I, I need the clicker, yes. yes and okay. and, and Thank you. watching is not the thing. Data is the thing. We are loaded with lots of information in video. The question, are we able to get to the right information in the video itself? So the problem that any clip is trying to solve is universal. And, and we are like a small forum. I advise you to think about yourself and about your organization. Video has become the prime source of communication these days. It's a consensus, right? Even more so after COVID. This is how we buy. We buy today online, which means, which means that we need to consume more information about the products that we are buying. Uh, we work from home. Organizations today produce masses of videos, both for external communication as well as internal communication. External communication uh, marketers, they want to build their own brand. They want to explain better about the products that they are selling. They are producing a lot of more uh, information because we are buying more online. But also about a year and a half ago, two years ago, working from home. We are working from home. 90 something percent, I'm sure that you can relate with me, 90 something percent of the communication in the organization today is done through video conferences, right? So the training, the onboarding, the knowledge sharing, the knowledge base, the knowledge preservation, it's all about video. The question what we are doing with this video. What is the problem here? The problem is that all of us are looking at video as a piece of content. Content cannot be managed. It cannot be organized. You can unf unfold the information of the video if you're treating video as content. I'll give you an example. Take one video, don't have a title and description, and try to upload to YouTube. It's not searchable let alone even the information in the video itself. OK, try it. Just upload a naked video. You will not be able to find it. OK, so the idea here, if you're looking at uh, um, 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 an industry, I would say industry of hundreds of billions of dollars of companies who are merely trying to better organize textual information. Take Google Workspace, for example, or uh, uh, office, uh, Microsoft Office. These are companies who are allowing organizations to organize textual information, to search within the documents, and to collaborate the information. If some of you are engineers, there's something that is called confluence. All of the bugs are written properly. You are able to get into the bug. You are able to search the problem. You are able to collaborate. Slack. You are able to Slack. You are able to organize the information. You are able to search. You are able to collaborate. Who does it in video? Who does it in video? And it's, it's obscene because basically it's all about video today. Are you able to find the information in the video? And that is basically what the visual intelligence category is all about. This is something that has been taking us for many, many years to build with dozens of engineers. And for the, for the sake of this, I would say, discussion, uh, assume that any clip knows anything about, about the video. We analyze video 10 times faster than real time. We analyze voice. We analyze speech. We analyze closed caption. We analyze text. We analyze frames. We can recognize people and brands and products. We can recognize if the scene was about football or basketball or, or, or tennis whether it's about uh, politics or whether it's about uh, uh, food and beverages, if there is any brand safety issues, sex and alcohol, profanity, child abuse, etc., 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 imagine that the entire video is being analyzed and we have data. Now, the visual intelligence is while everybody is looking at content as a piece of content, we look at it as a piece of data. Once the data is associated with the video, Video becomes a document. You can organize the video automatically. You can search the information in the video in the press of a button. 
you can collaborate, you can personalize, you can monetize better, you can do a lot of things with the video itself, and that is basically the concept behind AnyClip. AnyClip has a platform, we call it Genius Platform. It is, not, it is totally agnostic to verticals. It allows organizations to upload all of their videos, analyze the videos, make the videos searchable, discoverable, uh, collaborative, personalized. We have two solutions. One is for marketeers. I think that Marco said something about it. And the other one for internal communication. External communication, when you think about it, there is a consensus that every company wants to build their own YouTube. They want to build their own Netflix. You know, companies are placing the videos on YouTube. You're searching something. You're landing on the video. Company doesn't know that because the data belongs to YouTube. You cannot buy from YouTube. There is no such thing. Now, if you are Home Depot, if you are Best Buy, if you are NBA, and you have tons of videos, and you want to build it in NBA.com, good luck. Good luck. You need trillions of people to tag the videos. I'm not talking about the search engine you'll never find, monetization, etc. It's mission impossible for many organizations. Any clip does it in 30 seconds, just like that. 30 seconds, and we're able to take any kind of video, whether it's a Zoom meeting, whether it's a movie, whether it's a basketball game or whatever, analyze the video, understand what's within the video, place the videos into channels and sub-channels, make it totally searchable and collaborative. About a year and a half ago, we realized that we were sitting on a gold mine. People are working from home. And so we said, OK, so all of the Zoom calls, the WebEx calls, legal depositions, for example, the training and others, nobody can find anything. So we said, OK, so let's expand the technology. And today, AnyClip works with many Fortune 500s, taking all of their videos, again, whether it's a recorded meetings or whatever, analyzing the videos, the videos become searchable. Any word, every sentence becomes searchable in the video itself. AnyClip has patented technology to highlight one hour into two minutes. So just assume that you have a meeting in two minutes and you know exactly what happens, what's happening in the meeting itself. Just think about it. Any clip translates to 120 different languages. If you are VP sales and you're speaking English, just think about the guys who is in, in Germany or, or slash in, in Japan, doesn't know English and can search in Japanese and find the exact information and more and more and more and more. But once again, it's all driven by the data that we generate uh, from the video itself. Overall, the company, the engineering is in Israel. Uh, uh, business is located mainly in New York. We have subsidiaries also here in, in uh, Europe. The company is expanding very nicely. There is no question whatsoever that video is exploding on one hand. The market is relatively uh, old from, from, from technical perspective. You can uh, vouch for my words. 1% of the solutions today are 1% manual. There is no automation. The market is craving for automation. And basically, the, the idea, the vision of AnyClip is transforming any kind of video into a living document. These are part of the customers who are using our services today. And I thank for your time. Thank you very much.